hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Nilesh Ralgi and you are watching Techie Programmer so today in this video we are going to learn about strings comments and boolean in python so let's get started so let me just open up my project here so uh, we have seen that uh, we can write a string in single quotes so if i want to say something let me just say like if i want to assign a variable called python then I will do it as like my variable is my underscore var equals to and in single quotes I can write Python and if I want to like if even if I want to write it in the double quotes then even I can do that for example if I want to declare a new variable which again has programming then even these two I mean like this is uh, covered or surrounded by double quotes and this is surrounded by single quotes so you can either go with single quotes or double quotes or you can also go with a triple quote let me just show you uh, we also call this triple quote string as talk string so I'll just name it as talk var equals to you can just even here you have a choice of going with the triple single quotes or triple double quotes so let me go with this triple single quotes then I say this is a doc st ing. So here you can see uh, that even after coming next to coming to the next line, even still it remains green. So it means that uh, I can write multiple lines as a doc string. So if I want to write a big text, what I will do is I will just make sure that is enclosed in single quotes, triple quotes. But it just means you know, I need to use a triple quote and advantages of using single quotes and double quotes is if i want to show for example uh, let me say that uh, if in this python programming i want a uh, apostrophe then i can just add it here and let me just run this let me just print my new var first so that i can show you the difference and when i run this you can just see that so here you can see that when it is surrounded by double quotes you can print single quote inside as a part of a string and whenever it's in a single quote you can print let me just show you if i want a double quote here i can just go for a double quote and let me just print this out and run this so now here you can see if i am surrounded with single quotes then i can print a double quote and if i'm surrounded with this double quote i can print a single quote so this is how you can manipulate and manage your string so if you want uh, or you are using isn't then you need a single apostrophe there so what you can do is you can just enclose that in the double quotes and then you can just do that or else even we have a escape character that is backslash you can use that uh, if for example if you are using a single quote and if you are using a single quote here like we just show you that so here what happens is if i if I'm using single quote here, single quote here, and a single quote here, it doesn't consider this and this, it just starts here and ends here, then it is considered this part as a part of a program. So you can escape this character by using a backslash. So now what happens here is this and this is considered and this is like an escape character, just this escapes and just prints this. So let me just run this here you can see and whenever i try to print this doc string you can see it prints as 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 big like you can just print, type anything right here so you can go with multiple line string so this is where the doc string come into the picture and this is where we use double quotes and this is where we use single quotes or like you can just use any of these next what we're going to do is learn about comments so comments in python or comments in general is something or uh, useful information written uh, before the code or just above the code you know just or on in the line just in order to understand how the code works or what it does for example if i want to say uh, my code prints a hello world then what i will do is let me just say print hello world but if I don't remember what is this, then I need to write something about it so that whenever I come back, I should know what it actually does. So what you can do is just hash and then then you can write your comment here. This prints 
hello world comments are just for the human reading purpose or understanding purpose uh, this uh, this these lines of code are just stripped off when uh, executing the program and there is a multi multiple line comment uh, but it's nothing but a doc string writing a doc string is also known for uh, comment so if you want to write a big paragraph about your code then what you can do is just use triple quotes and you can just write it so this is how comment works or this is what comment is then moving on to booleans boolean stands for true or false so uh, i just want to show you that uh, there are two booleans so that is one is true either it is true or false and true and false stands for i mean uh, let me just show you a mathematics with that that is let me say if a is a variable which says true plus true here you can see the t is capital and for false f is capital so when i run this and just print a it prints 2 it means that the value associated with true is 1 so whenever you are writing a program which says condition is true either you can use a keyword true or you can just replace that with 1 it depends on the situation of the code if you want to say if the like if you want to say while true then you can just say while one and if you want to say while false i mean you can just write it as while zero so this is how true and this is what how the boolean works the true value is associated with one and false value is associated with zero so here in today's section we learned about strings comments and boolean so that's it for today if you have made up to the end do like share and subscribe and see you in the next video